Hello and welcome to episode one of the new Farmer Intelligence vlog series where we will be meeting the teams that make up Farmer Intelligence. Today we're in London and you'll be joining me, Tom Amber, as we go and meet the marketing team. Let's go. I am building out a four-piece content syndication campaign for Akiva. Very nice. exciting. So you are working with one of our clients. So what is it you do, James? So I'm a marketing program manager. So I work in the marketing services area. So it's kind of like the client-facing side of um, of, marketing. of marketing. Yeah, exactly. So um, we work across all the sort of publications, all the sort of data products and essentially we market like partly content and content of our clients to inform this database of like prospects and subscribers. Farm intelligence audience is vast, it's senior, it's it's relevant and it's it's current. So it's the interest of our clients to sort of I don't utilise our database and utilise our editorial expertise to yeah, generate good leads, generate good brand awareness. What's your name? Annabelle. And what do you do? I lead our global marketing, which comprises delivery and operations for marketing. We support the regions and the domains. Um, we have three regions, uh, Asia Pacific, uh, EMEA and India, and then the US. And they have, uh, for, for EMEA and uh, the US, they have fully functioning marketing teams um, that, that support one-to-one -one and, and ABM uh, marketing at a regional level. We support them from a global perspective in some of the delivery aspects of, of, of what happens. Uh, Asia Pacific have smaller teams and they work again very closely with their, their local markets, um, but, but we provide support where, where necessary to those teams as well. Um, so uh, later on today I have to sit down with Jean-Marc and discuss with him uh, some of the asks that we've been getting through from one of the product areas, which actually relates directly to accounts that are in his region. So what channels is it that we deploy campaigns on? So email, social, PPC, SEO and website. Um, we try and target our customers where we know that they are going to be uh, and our prospects where, they, where we, we know that they're looking at things. We try to think about new and innovative ways to reach those uh, people and not uh, spam them with too much information. Uh, we're working on some projects in the background to really target our personas so that we know that we can send those personas things that are of interest to them only and not have a broad brush effect across everything. It's about bringing together the right people in the right teams um, so that we have a strong focus on, on how we want to message our solutions moving forward. How are you? All good. Yeah. Yeah. What are you up to? I am just working on the awards program for Sightline. So what is it you do? So I look after the awards marketing, so we run five awards across Pharma. Um, so basically doing like start to finish throughout the campaign, so anything from like banners, redesign, branding, and also I have the awards team on the day like with the actual events itself. So yeah, it's basically like start to finish. Start to finish but, yeah. And then restart again. And then restart, yeah. So they're not until at like, the end of the year, like November time, but then we're starting now to do everything. So you like using the highlights videos and any content from the actual awards and then try and push that out throughout the year as well. Um, just to kind of keep like engagement going and like the momentum up for this year as well. Right. And do you come into the office a lot or do you yeah. prefer to work from home? Yeah, I prefer to come in. I think as well with like the buzz of people yeah. is better. So I've been trying to come in a lot more. Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit done with the working from home thing now. <laughs> I think it's flexible that there's no... Well, at the moment, there's sort of no pressure to come in. So, if, but like the fact it's full today, I think that shows that people want to come in a bit more. So, what are you guys doing? Um, we were looking at new ways to present our emails because the templates are a bit dry, and we were looking at more exciting ways to design our emails. Just looking at inspiration and seeing yeah. what we can get from that. What team are you both in? 
Imeo. Imeo. So who's your boss? Jean-Marc. Nice. And how's that? <laughs> The, how's the team environment? What's the team like? Everyone is free to be themselves, is yes. the nice way of saying it. Um, <laughs> everyone, yeah. And there's no real, I don't think there's much of a hierarchy. Everyone's opinions are as valuable as everyone else's, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. 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 So, like us, we're, we're literally changing what we do on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. um, because we have, we're empowered to. I agree with what Nate said. So... It's, it's free. It's a free environment. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you need to, to change, you can. So like now, we're trying to build a new design for the emails. Just trying to be more innovative. I've managed to do things that I've never done before. Like uh, in terms of where I've been before, I've been doing something different. But coming to Informa, I've learned a lot. I've managed to do other things, do whatever I want to do at the end of the day. Yes, I have my task, I have to do this and that, but sometimes I'm allowed to put in that extra bit of me in my work so that at the end of the day, when they see it, they know this is Sylvia. So uh, being head of a, of a region is actually focusing on two main activities. The first one is account-based marketing, so making sure that our existing customer base are excited about the pharma intelligence offers and more importantly uh, extract the values they need from their subscription services. And the second activity is, of course, uh, finding new business opportunities. So we have actually uh, two main, uh, basically, profiles. First of all, what I call regional marketing managers, so people who are in charge of uh, identifying and defining, uh, basically, uh, regional marketing program that will uh, support uh, the sales priorities. And we have marketing coordinators who are responsible for packaging and executing uh, these programs uh, for us. Uh, we are ultra light, I would say, because we are a team of five uh, currently. You, ha you have to um, realize that, uh, yes, there is five people dedicated to the regional success in EMEI, but we have actually 30 people centrally who are here to support us. What is quite special was the autonomy that I was given when I joined in order to uh, basically change and adapt uh, or go to market strategy. You remember that 14 months ago, we were uh, basically a global marketing organization with a one-size-fits-all approach. And uh, we decided to uh, be closer to our customers uh, through targeted localized content. And so I was responsible to uh, basically accompany this shift and help uh, the existing marketing organization transition to the new regional model. And this, um, this is something that I really, really enjoy doing. Looking to the future, what does the future entail for, for Enya and for Farmer Intelligence, in your view? We know now our new owners, uh, Robert Pincus, and I'm really, really excited about this outcome for a couple of reasons. So first of all, uh, it's a private equity uh, and a well-known and well-respected private equity. Uh, they are also a long-term holders of, of companies, so um, you know I think they are very serious in their investment strategy. They also have a significant footprint in the healthcare industry, which means a lot to us. Uh, and 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 I really believe that uh, thanks to them uh, we will have uh, more means to uh, deliver on our accelerated growth strategy. This year we are actually focusing on seven countries or uh, country clusters. Um, so there's a significant amount of work to be done and, uh, and for me it's all about execution, okay? So walking the talk as we say and making sure that, uh, that we support the sales team uh, and, and make sure that they are able to uh, deliver on their revenue commitment in 2022. Now in terms of uh, work environment and how we, we operate, so um, I'm a people person so for me it's very important to have face-to-face uh, -face quality time with them. When you think about uh, office working, and it's all about uh, basically um, innovation, okay? And innovation, I think, is stimulated when you are able to come together. Uh, and for me, working from home was one of these challenges, especially in a marketing setting, because 
you know, it's quite good to have uh, to task people, okay, one to one. But when it comes to uh, creativity, innovation, it's a struggle. You think you know the people, but actually you don't. There's a lot of things that you you are not able to uh, apprehend and grasp via a video lens. And um, and so I really, really value uh, you know office working and being able to. Um, come together as a team. And then drinks after? Are you, are you uh, getting involved in the uh, social I'm, I'm up for a drink if there's something planned. I, I was not aware of this. <laughs> I, I, but, uh, I think it was decided I, I, at lunch we'll probably go for one after. I mean... Yeah. Oh, you really, really, <laughs> okay.